Apple introduced fingerprint security for the first time with the launch of iPhone 5s, which made it famous in the consumer market. No matter how much we actually use it, but it nowadays is a common feature that every smartphone company is trying to bring with their upcoming smartphones. Setting up the fingerprint sensor was easy and we got it working in no time. Here's how you can do it too. Head over to settings, tap on lock screen and security category. Next look for fingerprint management. To enable fingerprint security you first need to add the smartphone lock using a pin or a pad. Choose your preferred option and complete the process as guided on screen. So finally we have reached the step to enroll fingerprints. Enable fingerprint recognition, confirm your saved pattern or pin and enroll. This might take a while and once you are done, we are ready to make use of the enrolled fingerprints. With the addition of fingerprint sensor, we can not only unlock the smartphone but also use them instead of passwords. For example, the best use case on Note 3 Lite was controlling access to applications using fingerprints. This can eventually evolve replacing passwords for each and every access control mechanism across the operating system. Talking about cool part, the two bundled it with the Note smartphone lineup, making it available for the low-end segment as well. Coolpad Note 3 Lite is probably the most affordable Android smartphone that comes with a fingerprint sensor. At a price of 699, it was a surprise for us too to have a fingerprint sensor that works this well. That's all in the RVD tutorial. Thank you for watching.